Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the color of your slicer whenever you select or have a selection in your slicer. So for example, let's say if you have a lot of slicers in your uh, page uh, here, it becomes very difficult for people to know which of the slicer is filtered, right? So let's say if on country, if you select one of the country, the background color of the country slicer needs to change right just to highlight saying that this particular slicer has been filtered whereas the other ones here uh, if you select they don't really filter they don't really change the color right so this is the tutorial i'm going to teach you how to do this so let's get started uh, let us now begin with uh, you know creating a changing the color of the item type whenever you select a particular uh, item in the item type drop down list right so let's get started so to begin this uh, i would need to create a new measure here okay and i'm going to call this as highlight item type okay and then say if right is filtered this is the function that we will be using that is is filtered okay and select item type over here if item type is filtered right uh, then if it is filtered then give me a certain color okay that is um, let us say i need the same yellow color which i will go with so it is triple f triple zero okay this is the color if it is filtered give me this color you can choose whatever color that you want there and then if it is not filtered return white which is six times f okay i'm going to close the code close the bracket and press enter all right now let us see how this uh, particular measure is working. So I've just created a, uh, a visual over here. So right now, if you see here, the item type is not filtered. So if I select one of the item from the item type, the, uh, the color changes over here, okay? So let us delete now. And uh, now uh, we will have to insert a shape, okay? Let us go to the insert tab, go to the shape and click on triangle, right? And uh, let us uh, align it to the exact size of this particular visual over here. Okay, so let us take it over here and uh, for, just to get that in the right uh, um, shape and size, uh, let us just turn on the background color of this particular uh, slicer over there and uh, just align it exactly with the uh, slicer that you have. Okay. Now let's come back here and just turn off the background color of the slicer okay Le and uh, let us now go to the uh, fill option let's turn out turn off the outline let us go to the fill okay and then you need to click on fx over here which is nothing but the conditional formatting right and under format by let us select field value and then under the based on field uh, drop down let us select the measure that we just created that is highlight item type right and then click on ok ok now um, let us select an item type right so when you select an item type serial it is changing the color to yellow all right otherwise it is returning blue as of now ok it's returning blue here uh, for some reason let us go back and check what mistake we did so we forgot to add the hash in the uh, color over here so let us add the hash and press enter right so if you see here now when it is on all it is right now in white and if we select let's say serial it's the color changes to yellow right now let us select this and put this right over here and uh, once we have put that here you might see that it's not visible obviously we need to go to the format tab and under the arrange option over here click on send to back right once it's sent to back it will be available here in case you want to move and uh, align it clearly you can do that uh, so right now so if you select let's say beverages the color still remains but if you clear the filter the background of the uh, slicer uh, comes back to white right so this is what we wanted to achieve today and uh, this is a very useful uh, feature especially if you have a lot of slicers and uh, you don't really know which of the slicer is activated so you might be wondering what's happening with the data the data is not looking right so this is one of the coolest feature in power bi which you can use within the slicer to highlight your uh, 
uh, slicers whenever there are they are any uh, whenever the data is filtered right i hope you've learned something new uh, please consider subscribing to my channel for more search tutorials